Send effects are effects that are chained uh, not into the rack with instruments, but into the rack attached to the master section. And the idea uh, of send effects comes from uh, the hardware world, where you would have a big hardware mixing desk. And then rather than having, because you couldn't have an infinite number of reverb units like you can with software, you would have uh, a couple of reverb units, a couple of EQs, a couple of compressors, and they would be set up as send effects on the send buses and the auxiliary buses on the mixer. And the reason for that was so that you could send a little bit of various channels through one hardware effect because you only had a limited number of hardware units. And while that's not so much of a technical limitation anymore in software because you can keep loading up as many effects as you want, it's still uh, a sort of con a mixing convention that people use. And it's also nice because it lets you, for example, have uh, one reverb setting that you really like, and then you can apply different levels of different sound sources through that one reverb. So it can help you sort of give your project some coherence. Um, it does also save on processing power, although that's less of an issue than it used to be. So to work with send effects, all you do is uh, you find your effects section here, or you use the create menu, and you select the master section, and then you choose an effect. Now, the kind of effects you might want to use as sends, they won't necessarily be things like crazy ones like the pulverizer or the alligator. They're more likely to be things like compressors and reverbs, more sort of general effects that you might want to send a few different channels through. Uh, so, for example, if I was to take a, a reverb unit, drag it onto the master section, Have a look. There it is. It's been chained into our effects send and return. And you can see there are eight of these on the main master section. Now, if I go up to the mixer, in our effects return section here, you can see that our RV7000 has appeared. Um, and so here's the send level and the return level. Now initially, you won't hear anything because I haven't sent any of the channels through that effect. There's a, an organ, which channel is it on, that one. So if I activate that send effect channel, suddenly you're getting some reverb on the organ sound. Vary the level, and vary the level of the, the master effect itself. So you can globally set the effect level, and then you can, within that, set individual levels as well. Um, here's our piano. I could go down and actually give it MIDI focus, which will happen if I... There we go. And again, we can send that piano through the same effect. So both those channels are going through the same effect. And I've varied the uh, send level. Uh, and there's also, as I say, a main effect level and a pan setting. You can pan the effect whichever way you like. Uh, you can change the global master send level as well. So, so you get to control how much send effect is 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 uh, applied globally, and how much return is applied, and how much of each channel is sent through it. So you can control that at uh, at various different stages. If you um, click on the Edit Inserts button, you can leap in the rack straight to the inserts. That's uh, pretty handy to know about. You can also mute effects returns. You can't mute the sends, but you can mute the returns. And if you click on the Edit button, 
that will leap you straight to your effect in the rack. So that's a quick look at uh, send effects. Let's uh, dive into the different effect types now and have a look at Reason's dynamics effects.